स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द थर्ड वीडियो ऑफ बिजनेस फॉर्मूला सो मैन इशू विद द प्रीवियस वीडियो क्वालिटी ऑफ द वीडियो वॉज नॉट गुड लेट अस ट्राई अवर बेस्ट टू इंप्रूव द क्वालिटी ऑफ वीडियो वी हैव क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन आई थिंक इट इज ऑल्सो इन वीडियो सेकेंड बट इट इज नॉट प्रॉपरली विजिबल सो आई एम अगेन एक्सप्लेनिंग दिस क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन दैट इज Point P is equidistant from these two point A and B, and we have to find the value of A here. Now, since P is equidistant from point A and B, we have a condition that distance between these two points, that is, P A is equal to P B. P A is equal to P B. So we apply distance formula twice. First on P A, then on P B. Find the distance. P A and P B. Apply the distance formula. I mark this point P as x1 y1, A as x2 y2, B as x3 y3. Then apply the distance formula first on P A. P A that is equal to x2 minus x1 plus y2 minus y1 whole square. That is equal to under root of x3 minus x1. X3 are the coordinate of this point. So apply here the distance formula. Now substitute the values of x2 x1 y2 y1 here and on the other side x3 x1 y3 y1 we have this side uh, this sort of uh, values here then after solving this we have this equations we have apply here as a minus b whole square that is equal to a square plus b square minus 2 a b similarly Here we have a plus b whole square. A plus b whole square that is equal to a square plus b square plus two a b. Now come to uh, this point that we have applied the formula a minus b whole square a plus b whole square. Then solving this we have value of a as. Now we have question number a. Question number eight is find the point on x-axis. Which is equidistant from given point A and B. Now, as point P is on x-axis, as we have already told you, the point on x-axis have coordinate x and zero. So we have taken point P as coordinate x zero because y is zero on the x-axis. This point is equidistant from A and B. Similar question, we have to apply the condition is this point P is this is a point. P, which is equidistant from A and B. This is equidistant. That means we have P A is equal to P B. Similarly, we have P A is equal to P B. Again, apply the distance formula twice. Distance formula that is x2 minus x1 plus y2 minus y1. Now, first take P A distance here, then P B distance here. P A here and P B here. Apply the distance formula. We have substitute the value x1, x2, y1, y2, x3, x1, y3, y1. Now, on substituting the value, we have these two equation as seven minus x whole square plus six minus zero whole square and minus three minus x whole square plus four whole square. On squaring both sides, we can remove the square root. We have square here and square root is removed. Then we have seven minus x whole square plus six square that is equal to minus three minus x whole square. I take minus three as common. It will give you three plus x whole square. Minus whole square become positive, so we have three plus x whole square. Three plus x whole square plus four whole square. Now apply a minus b whole square and here a plus b whole square a plus b whole square that is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab and a minus b whole square that is equal to a square plus b square minus 2ab on applying here we have x square is, x square is, we can cancel them take the x value on one side and constant value on other side we have 60 is equal to 14x plus 6x that is equal to x is equal to 3 So we have required point P on x-axis. Point P on x-axis as three zero, which is required answer. 
Similarly, we have question number nine. Question number nine is that find the point on the y-axis. Find the point on the y-axis. Similar question. Point on y-axis. We have just solved this question. Point P. Now we will take point P is taken as zero and y. 0 and y because on y axis x is 0 and y can have any value. So y is taken as variable and 0 is taken as constant. So point P on y axis will be 0 and y. A is 5, 2 and B is minus 4, 3 minus 4 3 now applying the distance formula that is pa is equal to pb on both sides apply the distance formula first make pa pb coordinate then apply here pb pa and pb substitute the distance formula here substitute the value of x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 you will get the required answer. Now, now we have question number 11 here. Uh, in question number 11, we have given that point P, Q, R are the vertices of a triangle. Now, first of all, we must know about the what are the vertices of a triangle. Uh, vertex basically is a point where two lines meet. Here, P, Q and PR it meets at point P it meets at point P so this is first vertex of a triangle similarly we have point PQ and QR it meets at point Q so second vertex is Q Q5 10 similarly third vertex is on joining these three, three vertex we have this vertex, this vertex and this vertex. On joining these three vertex, we have a triangle. And we have to prove that P, Q, R, three are the vertex of a triangle. Uh, sorry, isosceles triangle. Vertex of an isosceles triangle. Vertex of isosceles triangle, we know the property of isosceles triangle that a triangle whose two sides are equal is known as isosceles triangle. So we have to prove that any two side, any two side that means we have to find the distance between these three lines that is PQ, QR and RP. Here we have calculated PQ, QR and RP. PQ apply the distance formula, calculate the value of PQ, then QR apply the distance formula, find the value of QR. Here we have calculated the value and we have well first value as 5 under root 2, second is again 5 under root 2. So two sides are equal. If we have two sides are equal, we will not stop here. We have to calculate the third value also because if the third side will also equal, then it become an equilateral triangle. So we will also check the condition that whether third side is equal or not equal. So RP is that is 2 under root 10. So we have only two sides are equal. Two sides that means distance PQ and QR. Distance PQ and QR. This is equal. So this is PQ is equal to QR. Condition is satisfied of isosceles triangle. So these three vertices are the uh, Sides, uh, sorry, these three vertices are the vertices of an isosceles triangle. Then we have question number 12. Question number 12 is that we have given four points. Four points P, Q, R and S. P, Q, R, S and we have to prove that, that these four points are the vertex of a rectangle. Point P, Q, R, S. Here, P, Q, R, S. 
दीज आर दर्टिसेज ऑफ ट्रेंगल वर्टिसेज ऑफ ट्रेंगल दैट मीन्स के वी हैव फोर पॉइंट हेयर वेन वी ज्वाइन दीज पॉइंट वी विल फॉर्म अ रेक्टेंगल सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी मस्ट नो अबाउट द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ अ रेक्टेंगल इन अ रेक्टेंगल ऑपोजिट साइड आर इक्वल ऑपोजिट साइड आर इक्वल दैट मीन्स पी क्यू शुड बी इक्वल टू आर एस पी क्यू शुड बी इक्वल टू आर एस सेकेंड कंडीशन इज पी एस शुड बी इक्वल टू क्यू आर और एनीथिंग एस पी इज इक्वल टू क्यू आर आर एस एनीथिंग फर्स्ट कंडीशन इज दिस Here we can show that two opposite sides are equal. Second condition which we have to prove that that is diagonal. Diagonals of rectangle are equal. Otherwise, four sides in a rectangle opposite sides are equal and each angle is ninety degree. Also, one more condition in the rectangle is. That diagonals are equal. Diagonals are equal. That means P R that should be equal to Q S. So we have to satisfy this condition that two opposite sides are equal. And second condition is diagonals are equal. That is P R and Q S are equal. So what we have to find here? We have to find the value of P Q R S. पी एस क्यू आर पी आर एंड क्यू एस दीज ऑल वैल्यूज वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट फोर पॉइंट आर गिवन पी क्यू आर एस वी हैव ऑलरेडी गिवन दीज पॉइंट एंड वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट ऑल द फोर पॉइंट फर्स्ट अप्लाई द डिस्टेंस फॉर्मूला हेयर इन पी क्यू दैट इज अंडर रूट ऑफ एक्स टू माइनस एक्स वन होल स्क्र प्लस वाई टू माइनस वाई वन होल स्क्र सब्सिट्यूट द वैल्यू ऑफ पी एंड क्यू एयर फाइंड पी क्यू आर एस पी एस क्यू आर पी आर एंड क्यू एस एंड कैलकुलेट दीज कंडीशन फाइंड दीज कंडीशन वेदर पी क्यू इज इक्वल टू आर एस एंड पी एस इज इक्वल टू क्यू आर इफ दीज कंडीशन आर सच साइड देन वी कैन से दैट दीज फोर पॉइंट पी क्यू आर एस आर द Vertices of a rectangle because on joining these vertices we will form a rectangle. In a similar format we have question number fourteen. Question number fourteen that is given to you that point A B C D are the vertices of a square. Point A B C are the vertices of a square. What are the properties of square? A, B, C, D are the vertices of a square. What are the properties of square? Square has the property that each side is equal. Question number fourteen. Four vertices are given: A, B, C, and D. A, B, C, and D. I am not solving this sum because all the solve sum has already given to you. I am just giving the clue how to solve this sum. A, B, C, D are vertices given. Vertices values is already mentioned, but we have to prove that on joining these vertices, A, B, B, C, D, C, and D, A, it will form a square. So, what are the properties of square? Square has the property that A, B should be equal to B, C. That will be equal to C, D. That is equal to D, A. first condition you have to prove that all the sides are equal apply the distance formula in each condition find ab bc cd and da all the four condition you have to um, find out then one more condition you have to find out like rectangle you have to find the diagonals here Find the diagonals. Diagonals of a square must be equal. That is, AC should be equal to BD. AC should be equal to BD. Find the take the coordinate of A as x1 y1, C as x2 y2. Again, apply the distance formula here. Apply distance formula. Find the condition AC is equal to BD. You will get the 
required as well. If all the conditions are satisfied, this condition is satisfied, that is four sides are equal, diagonals are equal, then these are the sides of a isosceles, oh sorry, uh, square. These are the sides of a square. In a similar format, you have question number 15. That is proof that A, B, C, D is, are the vertices of a rhombus. Vertices of a rhombus, similar format rhombus. You have to check A, B, B, C, C, D, D. What are the properties of rhombus? Properties of rhombus are there. It is a square but each angle is not 90 degree. In rhombus, that is question number 15. Question number, you are 15. This is a rhombus where A, B, C, D. Four points are given. Again, four points are given. Prove that these are the vertices of a rhombus. A, B, C and D. So, what we have to prove? We have to prove that A, B is equal to first condition is similar to the square. That is A, B is equal to B, C is equal to C, D is equal to D, A. First condition we have to prove. Then what makes it different from the square? In square we have two diagonals are equal. That is AC is equal to BD. AC is equal to BD. But in case of rhombus, in case of rhombus we have In case of rhombus, we have to prove that that AC is not equal to BD. This condition we have to check that AC is not equal to BD. So if it is a square, prove that all sides are equal. Distance, find the distance between these four vertices AB, BC, CD and DA by applying distance formula. Prove that all sides are equal. Then if it is a square, make it AC is equal to BD. That is, diagonals are equal. If it is not equal, then make it as it is a rhombus. Thank you so much. Next time we will have next kind of question. Two or three category of questions are left. And uh, 